So no trip to Lewa is complete without a two-day excursion to Ilinguesi Camp. Ilinguesi is an award-winning camp, and just wait till you see the rooms. They're really cool. After sleeping without the mouse, I was ready for adventure. It was cool to see my old friend James from Ilinguesi. We were in a hurry as reports coming back from the camp were encouraging that we would see something very cool indeed. Something I hadn't ever seen in the wild before. We were closing in on African wild dogs. Wild dogs are also called hunting or painted dogs. They are one of the most endangered canines in the world. Here I was able to see an animal once wiped out in Kenya in the 80s. But these dogs have recently come back to the Ilnguese area. They hunt in packs and it's amazing how they communicate to one another on these long open chases. 80% of these hunts or so result in kill compared to lions which are at a 30% ratio. Now these wild dogs can live to be 10 in the wild and they can get up to be about 80 pounds. So they're about as large as like a German Shepherd. Now they have a very strong bite and they can crunch bone just like hyenas. Recent estimates show wild dog populations only around 5,000. That is even less than the cheetah's population. This pack had around 20 dogs and it was one of two packs seen recently in the last year or so in the Il and Boise area. Now these canines need huge areas of land to roam around and hunting. And since usually only one pair in a pack mate, it takes some time to build up their populations. Having this pack relax in between hunts here in the shade allowed us a good amount of time to be able to check them out. An interesting note is that these wild dogs are known to bring back food for the ones in their pack that could be sick or injured and that can't hunt. Now these wild dogs can get caught in snares set for the illegal trade in meat and recently it was discovered that these dogs were being taken from the wild and sold on the exotic animal trade. Some even ended up far away places like zoos in China. This trade will hurt their wild populations. We in the animal community should be there to help the dogs, not hurt their chances for survival. African wild dogs need more protection so they can have the chance to survive. There are conservation efforts set up to help wild dogs reestablish areas, and since these wild or painted dogs will enter areas that locals have their dogs protecting their livestock, rabies shots and other vaccinations are very important. This land was once overgrazed and overhunted, so animals soon disappeared. But with locals receiving an income from recent community projects like this lodge, you can see the wildlife is coming back. I worked for a year with a few wild dogs in captivity, and they were an animal I dreamed I would someday see in the wild. And today, that dream came true. African wild dog, hunting dog, or painted dog, whatever you call it, it's one amazing animal. I can only hope that someday again, not only myself, but future generations would be able to see the wild dog roam in Africa. Well, it was time to let the other Jeep have a look. As you can see, Pud was concentrating hard on her first wild dog experience, and our Jeep went towards the lodge. All the staff at the lodge made us feel welcome right away. James has worked very hard to get his community on track with supporting this lodge, which in turn supports them right back. I had a short walk up to the lodging area, and we were shown what would be our home for the next two days. We're being shown our room. I think we stayed here four years ago, but now we're staying at this one. All right, one of the best things I like about Ilnguesi Lodge, oddly enough, is the toilets. Let's check this out. If you have to go, this is your view on the camera. Just look at that. So you can sit on your toilet. You don't even have to have a reason to sit on the toilet. You just sit on the toilet and you look for elephants. It's pretty damn cool. And then your porch is hooked up by these logs, which is pretty cool. And we're actually going to try to sleep out on the porch tonight. So then uh, what we will be is sleeping out on the cliff, kind of. That's pretty cool. This lodge is really, really cool. Puts by the bed, mosquito nets, and so we have some chairs, you know, hang out on the front porch. And like I said, this is your view from the front porch, it's just amazing. Pretty darn cool. And of course, 
My other favorite part besides the toilet is the shower. There's your shower right outside. Look at that. This place, there's no other words. This place kicks ass. I walked around the camp. I hadn't been here for four years, but it all seemed really familiar to me. And it took a little time to take some pictures of the birds that I saw. We're all set to go on an afternoon hike, but something was in our way. Something very large was in our way. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Safari Lewa. For information on the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy and ways you can help other wildlife, please read the description in this video. Thanks for watching.